Okay, so we're going to focus now for this exercise on a common complaint about getting up from the couch and then feeling unsteady as people take the first step, right? So this is often said that we're coming up and then I'm trying to take a step and I hesitate on that first step. And we will be focusing on bringing attention to the legs effectively when we are sitting down. And again, if our feet are close together, even if I get up, there will be a slight hesitation decision that has to be made about which foot to use to be able to take that first step. So the whole exercise will be focusing on all the components of this uh, strategy that we want to reinforce, which would be bringing more focus, more attention to the legs when you're getting up. So we're going to start sitting down. And the attention that we want to bring is like keeping our uh, legs apart is critical for that when I stand up, I will have less hesitation when I take that first step. The feet are together, you will have more. If they are apart, you will have less hesitation, okay? The brain will do it more automatically. So we're gonna try and we're going to use uh, so numbers as our cueing. So we will have numbers that will be popping up on our screen right here next to us and we will begin by just reinforcing the movement of one foot, another foot, okay? So what we want is us to really lift up our foot and hit it against the floor and the other one. And as we do this, we are going to be focusing on the number that is showing up on the screen. Shall we try it? And we are going to start with, imagine, nine, two, four, three, Seven, one, six, eight. I want to bring in another movement while we do this, which is bringing our hands forward, okay? So we will have four, four, and our hands will go forward. Six, five, two, seven, eight, 20, pushing our hands forward, 6, 2, hands forward, 8, 9, Let's try this in the standing position. So we're up here. We're going to try it with five, seven, and our hands go forward. Six, two, forward. Always starting with my right foot, left foot, hands forward. Okay. Seven, three, forward. Seven, seven, eight, two. Nine, three, two, five. Okay, sitting down again. Now, what we want to challenge you is let's bring more uh, challenge in terms of uh, cognition. So we will be adding these two numbers. So imagine if we have uh, five, three, my answer will be given in this movement, eight. So we will have three, three, six. Really push yourself forward, okay? And we give our answer. So let's do that for a while. So we have five, five, ten. I will stop giving the answer. I want you to do it. Three, Your answer. Two, five. Seven, two, nine. Eight. Your answer. Six, seven, Your answer. Okay. Now I would like to challenge you to give the answer in the standing position. So we are going to, we having our feet back. We are going to hit the foot with the numbers the same. And we give the answer in the standing position where we open up our arms like this just for the sake of balance. Let's go back. 
And so we have four, two, six, and back. Three, five, and back. I'm not going to say the numbers. You do it now. Two, two, four, and back. Five, six. No. As we keep our feet apart. Seven, three. Pushing ourselves forward yeah. and up. Going down. Eight, forward. Four. Up. Yeah. Six, three. Up. Nice. Okay. So now I want to challenge you as we in the standing position we really want to reinforce our taking the first step right so now our answer will be given in taking that step so we're going to take the step and we're actually going to change the movement of the answer so I'm going to alternate between right foot and left foot as I give my answer shall we try it sitting down I say five five I stand up ten I come back and I sit down again. Okay, let's do that one for a while. Now I'm going to alternate for my left. So two, three, coming up, five, back, and sitting down. Okay, again on your own. Four, six. Four, six. Let's do it in the standing position. So we, we are going to be hitting our foot and taking that step. Increasing the, the quickness. So we have nine, one. Ten, two, three, five, answer, again we are just bringing attention to the feet, one foot, other foot wide apart and then I take my step. So in case you like uh, an extra challenge, I'm going to add in a little bit more complexity. So if our answer is an even number, I am going to take a step with my right foot. If it is an odd number, I'll take the step with my left foot. Okay, so you can either stop here or challenge yourself to do a little bit more. And as you redo the video again, maybe you'll, you'll go right until the end. Okay, so we're going to try. So imagine I do three, three, that my answer is an even number. So I'll take it with my right foot, six, coming back. Then we have five, four, odd number, left foot, coming back. Okay, let's continue. I have the music for, to give us some rhythm and the numbers will show up. Brings on a little bit of thinking and decision. Go and back. Make sure you feel safe at home doing this. If you have any balance issues and difficulties, you can just place two chairs next to you like this so that you can the exercise and feel safe at the same time. Here we go. Like thinking. Okay, Let's see if 
if we were sitting down, how we do this one. We are. And then, all right, let's just lift our hands like this as I give my answer with my right foot or my left, okay? I so just want to give you a variation in the sitting position. Four and nine. coordination we have left foot right hand and right foot left hand some variations so you can use okay I hope this exercise challenge you